let's say we wanted to estimate e to the x over x squared plus 1 <coughs> Uh, integrated between 1 and 4 uh, using four strips, using the trapezium rule. Okay? So what I will probably suggest first is to figure out what h is. Okay? So h, the width of the strip, is 4 take away 1 divided by 4. So 4 take away 1 is 3. 3 divided by 4 is 3 quarters or 0 0.75. So that tells you what to go up in each time, okay, in the table. So we're going to build ourselves a little table. We're going to have x's, and we're going to have e to the x over x squared plus 1. Okay? So the x's start at 1. The next term is 1.75. The next term is 0.75 added onto that, so 2.5. And then 2.5 plus 0.75, okay, so 3.25. And the final one will be 4, okay? So it's going up in 0.75 intervals. So now we just need to substitute in each of these values. When x is 1, we're going to get e to the 1 over 1 squared plus 1, okay? So e to the 1 over 1 plus 1, so 2. When x is 1.75, we're going to get e to the 1.75 over 1.75 squared plus 1, which is 4.0625. Okay? Now, you'll notice that I'm not writing out the full calculator display for each of these. Okay? I'm going to leave them fairly simplified, and then I can substitute them all into the formula. So for this, I'm going to have e to the 2.5 over... 2.5 squared plus 1, which is 7.25. Then I've got e to the 3.25 over 3.25 squared plus 1, which is 11.5625. And then finally, e to the 4 over 4 squared plus 1, so 17. So then I can put them into the formula. Now the formula is 1 half h times the first plus the last plus two lots of the rest. So we've got 1 half times h, 0 0.75, times, we've got the first, which is this e to the 1 over 2, plus the last, which is e to the 4, over 17, plus two lots of the rest, so this one plus this one plus this one, e to the 1.75 over 4.0625, plus e to the 2.5 over 7.25, plus e to the 3.5 over 11.5625. Uh, 3.25, rather. Close the bracket and the bracket. Okay, now I would, if I were you, write out this whole thing here. Okay, I would make sure I've shown the substitution. So then I need to evaluate this. So let's start with e to the 1.75 divided by 4.0625. Okay, plus this one. So e to the 2.5 divided by 7.25 plus this one, e to the 3.25, rather, uh, divided by 11.5625. So for that, I've got 5.327. I'm going to double it. Then I'm going to add on e to the 4 divided by 17. Then I'm going to add on e to the 1 divided by 2. And then I'm going to times it by 0.75 and then times it by a half. And that gets me 5.70958198.95, which to three significant figures is 5.71. Okay? So there is an example of one that actually at the start you wouldn't have been able to integrate algebraically. And that is how we can estimate the area underneath this curve.